It's been a long time, I'm a beast in the streets, killing online. You stay out my way, we'll get along fine. Say, what about my pain? I'm getting all mine. I came to a tame, to acquire shit. So my strip stay bumping like tiger fist. Niggas thinking I be playing about the life I live. All the crying, all the praying, all the nights I hit. So I got feet, got guns, handguns, shotguns. If I needed a hammer, and ain't nobody got one. Nah, you wouldn't know the pain rate. Perfect example that we ain't live the same life. Tell a lie, true story, too gory, won't be televised. I'm looking up to heaven through vanilla skies. With God in my heart, but I'm listening to right now, man. Uh, this is the intro off the rain delay, you know what I'm saying? The first shit you go ahead when you crank that bitch up. High pop, powerful music, you know what I'm saying? Shit's all track. Okay, shit, tell us about the production of this. We know that you, you know, mainly deal with the chemist. You know, is this the chemist or is this somebody new? Uh, you know, this time I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Uh, this this particular song or joint that's produced by Young Seth. He done did shit for G Unit, uh, Jim, Jim Jones, Young Chris, the Rockefeller. Uh, he, he, he do he move around here, industry producer. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he just he blessed me with this beat and we get it in. Alright, let's go. Fuck you mean you ain't got the money yet. Motherfucker, you best be coming off my back. Well, yeah, shit, it's just called money, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily feel like you got to be a gangster to be about your money. You know what I'm saying? You more so got to be a hustler. And I've been known to be one of them for a long time, you know what I'm saying? The chemist came through with the track, you know what I'm saying? And me and Eclipse, we were just kicking it. It's like, we should just do it like this. Like, it ain't no hook on the joint. It's all movie samples. Niggas talking about money, you know what I'm saying? Like all shit that would be familiar to anybody, you know, that, that is a big fan of like all the hood classic movies. And we just took all the clips of niggas talking about money, you know what I'm saying? And then I took it a little deeper than actually, you know, just talking the, the typical flossy bullshit that niggas talk about and they talking about money. I was like actually talking about money, what it mean to me, what it mean to other people, how far people would go for it. You know what I'm saying, and, and and how it feels to have it, how it feels to be without it, like just a, it's basically a love song to money. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than just I got money, I'm balling up. You know what I'm saying? It just it takes you on a journey from having it, not having it, the joys, the ups, the downs, everything that having money and or being without it can bring. Okay. That's what this song's about. That's what it That's is. That's why it's so emotional. You got that heat over there. Tell us a little bit about feeling like track. money. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Let me chill out. <laughs> nah, this track right here, particularly, it was like Perk said, like we, we, it is really spontaneous. The idea we had, we had the idea for it, and then it just so happened we just put this beat to it. So it took about a good two, three days of digging through 
how many like I, like 50 different movies? Yeah, a lot of 50 different movies we had lined up, and I, we had to like really just off memory of movies we actually like, and went through and took the money skits off of those. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like we got shit from Belly Juice. Uh, set it off. The Mag. The Mag. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, uh, it was a bunch. It was a whole bunch of movies. Uh, Dead Presidents. Like a whole all the other classic movies. Even movies people forgot about. American Gay Food. Yeah. Bones. Who's the other one? Um, one people probably don't remember. Five Thousand Miles to Graceland. With Patrick Swayze saying, "Where's that damn money?" <laughs> <laughs> So y'all went in on this yeah, one too. Yeah, this, this is a real artful. I, I, I pride this, like Picasso prides a, 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 a piece of great art. This okay. is great art. It's not, it's not, it doesn't sound like every song and it doesn't follow all the same format. It's, it's art, it's creative. That's what, that's what I love about being able to create music. Mm -hmm. and, then they got a, and then you got a remix to it that's going to be on the Homie War Skills Project. Um, where I, I, I put Ward, let Ward go and get the first verse. You know what I'm saying? My second verse is still the same. So, you know, that's how we do. We spread love. You know, he was feeling it so much. He, he wanted to he wanted to drop on it. He said, can I drop on it? Can I touch it? I said, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? There's only more exposure. There's only more exposure for me and what I'm doing. I mean, he definitely been pumping it out there. It's been on a couple radio stations down south and all that. So, yeah, people fucking with that money. All right, so that's what it is. 2011, we bought that money. You know, the oh, yeah, chemist, three dreams, so it was crazy. Yeah. Get a whisper on the perm, tell him you better sell this album for giving these bitches away. <laughs> so this shit sound like money right here. Yeah. Shit, what, what's the song we hear in the background, man? This is the shit that niggas used to hear you sit on, yeah. you know, what the most of your fans, you know, stay loyal to, such as me. You know, what's the inspiration behind this track and, you know, how this come about? Um, the song, the inspiration is just like, it's like basically the theme to the whole album or mixtape or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's original production, so you can you can choose to call it street album, mix, whatever you want to. It's it's the rain delay, you know what I'm saying? This this is like the theme behind the whole shit. It's like a rain delay. If you're a fan of sports, you already know. Um, that's when you know the rain. So it rains so hard they have to stop the game, pause the game. You know what I'm saying? I took that, flipped it, and took it as a rain delay, like how King reigns. Like they've been holding back my time for me to shine. I know a lot of people that's where I'm from, that might seem, sound ridiculous to them. But I look at the game on a much bigger level than just where I'm from or where I'm at. So this is an emotional track. You know, I, I, I um, heard the sample off Heather Hadley. I forgot what her song is called. I can't remember, but I took the sample, gave it to Eclipse, he did this, and then I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? I wrote what I wrote. It's heartfelt, you know? Yeah, how long you been holding on to this, man? Is this one of them gems where you felt like it wasn't the right time to drop it in? And... Well, well, the whole Rain Delay, the Rain Delay album, or mixtape, whatever you want to call it, was born out of boredom. You know what I'm saying? I did it. You know, like I said, they rain delay the theme of it like they holding back my time. But everybody know I got my situation with the affiliates. And I had the guilty by affiliation. And that's been done for a minute, although it just dropped. It's the politics and the other shit that was going on with them having to do their job for me to get able to actually let it out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So during that time, I made this. You know what I'm saying? And that's just something like they, they, bought, they probably both about the same age. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's a different mixture. Like a lot of sh a lot of shit that's on the rain delay. Some of them is sound click beats. Some of them is production that was sent right to me th through my email. And most of them is chemist beats, just like the just like the guilty by affiliation. You know what I'm saying? But that particular track, that in my soul track, mm -hmm. that's a beat that even made Khaled go nuts. So you could you could go figure with that. You know what I'm saying? You already know that's a banger. A certified banger, and it's you know it's yeah, coming. We checking in the rain delay preview. You know what I'm saying? Big car. 
getting it in. We're about to go in 2011. Try to set it off big time. What's the name of this track in the background, fam? This joint is called Amnesia. It's produced by Young Focus. I got the, uh, I actually got this beat off a of sound click. It's another cat from here that did a, did a uh, that did a beat uh, did a song to this. It's uh, Sean D G from Street Marine Game. He did a song to this as well. And that's the risk you that's the risk you take when you when you use um, sound click beats. You gotta know you ain't gonna be the only one with that motherfucker because it's up there for free. You know what I'm saying? But the hook was already on the Young Focus did the hook. Young Focus made the beat and it's basically about, you know, my version out uh, is about um, a girl who got problems. You know, and she come through, fuck with me, I give her amnesia, you know what I'm saying? It's like basically <laughs> make her forget about her problems, forget about what's going on. I would think that's probably what his shit is about too, because the hook's already on there. It, it, ain't, it ain't much variation you can do to it, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, so sound quick, man. Is it, um, is that a good look, you know, nowadays? Do you, you know, well, is it good for promotion in the mixtape game? I generally don't like to do the sound quick shit, but I listen to them a lot. Uh, Cause I, I, I'm an active motherfucker. It's like even though I got a production team with me, like the chemists, they got a lot of mo they got a lot of um, people that's on them. Like you know, they gotta appease the Khaled. They got other niggas that's working in mine. So all the time I can't be on these niggas' heads. Like yo, I need this beat, I need that beat. But my mind is so active, I always gotta write. So. When I get in a slump like that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing booming coming through the email. Like, I always get beats in my email and my Gmail. That shit, I got 25 beats I ain't listened to yet in there. But a lot of them, unfortunately, don't be up to the standard that I'm used to because I'm spoiled by fucking with the chemists. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then I'll, I'll hit the sound click because they got a lot of talented producers on there. The only reason I don't like to fuck with sound click is because of this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? How I did this song, then I heard Sean DJ song, and it's like, damn. You know, and I, I know a lot of niggas will take that shit personally. They'll be like, oh, you rapped on the same beat as me. So I, I, I try to avoid any situation like that, you know what I'm saying, if I can. But I had already talked to him about it, so he was straight with it, you know what I'm saying. He knew I had this on, and, and I know he had his. And his shit is hot, and my shit is hot, so we just gonna oh, okay. The project is another solid project from Big Prime, you know. Another solid project. SB did the artwork. Got me looking like a million dollars on that bitch. Um, as far as the release date, as of right now, I would say probably look for it somewhere in the spring. You know what I'm saying? The spring of 2011 is done now, so I could drop it anytime I want. But um, I would probably hold it as I got an album out right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I need to focus on pushing that one to the fullest extent. The Guilty by Affiliation on iTunes right now. Um, all the back, Say Grace, Famine. Uh, big deal. All the albums are coming back on iTunes right now as well. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, uh, you could email my management, sdmanagement at gmail.com. Um, you could Twitter at me, Big Pern 517, Facebook Pern page. I mean, I'm, I'm not hard to find. And, you know, I'm look for me to continuously keep. Keep taking trips, keep putting this music in pe people's faces and people in their ear. And um, just keep doing big shit until I decide I don't want to fuck with this shit no more. You know? And that's, that's I don't know, I don't, I don't see no end in sight. So we just going to keep on riding it, riding till the wheels fall off.